What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today we're actually opening up the Big Collectible subscription crate for January uh, 2022. No, you guys didn't time travel by accident, which, I don't know, I'm starting to think January might have been a better time with everything going on. But uh, yeah, Big Collectible sent me this a little bit late. I guess they've been behind with everything. I mean, I know Texas has been snowed over already a couple of times this year, and I know other places get worse ice and snow, don't get me wrong, but in Texas, we don't understand when things are falling from the sky that's, you know, liquid or snow, and it freaks us out. So the whole state just shuts down, <laughs> let me tell you. But uh, yeah, we're opening this up. I'm going to assume I'll probably get my February one fairly soon because February is just, I think this is actually the last day of February when I'm recording this. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's in both these. But either way, let's see if this is worth picking up. I mean, this is the one for New Year's, I guess. <laughs> Again, it feels like we kind of time traveled. But uh, yeah, be sure to check out Big & Collectibles where I get a lot of stuff I open up. Link is down in the description and I also have a coupon code that can help you out, even with these subscription crates. And they always include the newest stuff for whatever month they're about. So we shall see. And of course, it does feel like a play mat. Oh, it's a masquerina one. I was wondering. Yeah, that's everything. We got some packs, I think, folded up in this. Yeah, we do. Okay. I'll get to that here in a second. Let's go on ahead and get our Mascarina playmats. It's a pretty good one, especially if you're uh, <laughs> a fan of Mascarina for different reasons. You know, totally okay reasons. <laughs> it is actually a well-designed playmat, though. I do like a lot of the official stuff they've been coming out with lately. Then, of course, we have some of the Grand Creators. Have, what, six packs there? And then a Mystery Pack. These are usually pretty fun. Feels like it's probably a booster pack. We'll see. Yeah, actually a couple of booster packs. We have Legendary Duelist, Synchro Storm. Actually, three of them. Maybe a Ghost Rare? Let's see. I don't know. I guess we'll go with those first. You with that or um, uh, the the Synchro. I can never think of her name. The the one that Sherry's Synchro. <laughs> Basically, it's a $100 card. I wouldn't mind it. Let's, <laughs> let's just say that. Anyway, Speedroid. What's he got here? And uh, we have, uh, let's see, Pennant of Revolution. You're not guaranteed hollows with uh, Legion Duelist, if you didn't know that. But you can get a Ghost Rare. Wish you could also get Ultimates. That'd be cool. I know, I keep asking for more. Salt Warrior. Oh, we got Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. My heart kind of stopped for a second. I kind of thought it was Sherry's, but I'll take a Clear Wing, I guess, too. And Kite Drake is actually pretty decent. And the last one. Okay. In with something awesome. Come on. Already messed with me once by giving me a clear wing. So I was like, ah, it's the synchro. No, <laughs> so close. And, oh man, close again. This time though, I, I like this one a little bit better. It is actually an ultra rare, a high speed word clear wing rider, which is actually kind of funny to get that with clear wing, you know? So not bad either. And then the lyric, uh, let's see, a phantom feathers. But you know what? We actually got a couple hollows. That's pretty good. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. I feel like I've done fairly well. And then, of course, for our booster packs. Let's see if we can get a collector's rare. So far, I've only gotten one from the openings I've done. Um, let's do better. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I want some more collector's rare. This set has some really cool cards. Insector Dragonfly. That's one of the ones you can get as a collector's rare. I really want that. I want, like, all the Insector stuff. Let's see... Exo Sister, some of their cards. Oh, must be something. And we got a No Punk uh, Ogre Dance. That's pretty cool. Ultra for us. I'll take it. I've heard some people are getting a little bit more hyped about the punk cards there. They're they have a pretty decent engine actually because they can use Mercy Teleport and everything. I uh, I feel like they are pretty cool. So I I like the design. I just never really tried them. I guess it has like a whole cyberpunk thing going on though, which is pretty cool. Probably works a little better than the game did, but yeah. <laughs> We'll see. Makes me sad that game didn't do well. I was looking for that. I've been playing Elden Ring though lately and uh, getting my butt kicked. I, I do decent though. I've actually defeated a few bosses even by myself. So I'm kind of proud of myself. There's a teleport. And we have a uh, punk dangerous uh, Gabu. Super for us. Yeah, this pack's so weird though too. If you notice you have more rares at the front, that means you're getting uh, a higher rarity card. I don't know why that is, but... I guess it protects the card a little better. I don't know. Just something I've noticed with this set, which is interesting. Virtual World. 
And we have Breath of Resurrection. I have so many of that card. Seems like <laughs> that's like the super I get the most of from this set. Only two packs left. Come on. Let's get one of the adventurer cards. Like I said, just any collector career. I've already picked up all the Exorcister stuff I, that I wanted. Although, any collector's rares, I would take. Still. And we have, uh, let's see, uh, Doryuji, uh, Punk, Madam Spider. Again, kind of cool. Looks like we're mainly going with the Punk cards. And last pack. Can we end with that collector's rare? I'm just going to ask for it. Let's see. Part of the cards. Let's get something crazy right here. And, oh, okay, we might have something. And, oh, should be after this. There we go, yeah, we, we actually got an Ultra Rare. We have uh, Exosister packs. Yeah, I know uh, Exosister's not very pricey, which I still recommend them more because of that reason, actually. But, uh, yeah, that is actually a fun deck to play. Again, I've been building them for my wife. She's been trying them out, and uh, I'm teaching her the game, basically. And this is one she thought that looked really interesting. So, this is, like, probably their best Ultra Rare, besides, I guess, the XC, really. But, yeah, you do need three of this card, and uh, it's pretty awesome. So, not a bad way to end it. Not a Collector's Rare like I was hoping, but, man, our odds would have been pretty crazy to end with that but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video again a little bit late but i guess better late than never i mean we had some pretty good luck with it and uh, again i actually do like the official play mats like i have uh, probably more play mats than i should let me tell you but uh, yeah uh, i guess another one for the collection maybe my wife will even use that one I, I think though she still wants the karibo one i mean come on look at that it's adorable you can kind of see it behind there <laughs> but yeah as always Thank you guys for watching. Of course, uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, what other openings you would like to see in the future. Like and subscribe. I do appreciate that. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.